Today we are going to do cinnamon roll with a twist. Let's get into it. First you need to have one cup of warm milk. The temperature needs to be between 110 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. The dry yeast is not going to be activated. If you take it at more than 115, the dry yeast is going to be killed by the heat. Our temperature is 110.9, so it is absolutely perfect. We add in the yeast, stir it, and we just wait a couple of minutes for the yeast to be activated. You will see the yeast starting to bubble up. Be patient, you need the yeast to wake up and to be activated. We're going to then just bring it together and we're going to mix it up. And let it be said, the thing flipping exploded all over the place. Oh my word. <laughs> we then add in the balance of the two and a half cups of flour into the mixture. During the kneading process, it takes about uh, around about eight minutes to knead and it'll actually come together like a typical dough. So once you finish kneading the dough, you are going to grease up a bowl. You're going to then put the dough into it, turn it around and make sure it's all nice and done. And we can get a piece of plastic, cover it, keep it in a warm place for about an hour or until it doubles in size. If you do have a gas fireplace, uh, just put it at the bottom of the fireplace. Um, otherwise find a warm spot for the dough to rise. Okay, so for the filling, we're gonna have two parts, right? So one is a quarter cup melted butter. Do not add it in with the cinnamon and sugar. Trust me, don't do that. Um, we're then gonna have a separate bowl, which is three quarters of a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of ground cinnamon. Okay, let's get out the dough. How beautiful is this looking? It's nice and risen. Get some flour and we are going to just split the dough in half. Get it out. So this is gonna make two sheets. That's why we get to split it. And it doesn't have to be exactly 11 by eight, right? It, can, it just gives you a, a guide. So we take the melted butter, we start painting away, and then we are going to put half of the sugar cinnamon, because the other half will be for the other roll. Awesome, these are looking amazing. And then what we do is, on the one roll we add raisins, the other roll we don't. So you can just get yourself some raisins, give it a good generous amount. And now we've got to just lift it and get it rolled. Okay, time to roll out the others and then we are going to let it rest for another hour. Some that has got the raisins, some that have got no raisins. Before we get them in the oven, we have to separate them a little bit, right? Because if we don't give them the space that they deserve, they are going to just go a little bit berserk and they are going to just fall on top of each other. Just like us humans. We need space, people. Give the cinnamon rolls the space that they deserve. Wow, these are looking beautiful. My word, this dough is soft. Soft dough. Okay, so we're going to get them into a preheated oven, 350, for 20 to 25 minutes. The frosting. Let's get a cracking. We got to get a cracking on the frosting. Woo! -hoo. Okay. So, before we get mixing, all in with the confectioner sugar, and we then just break it apart. And as it breaks apart, uh, we will then add in the vanilla extract and we can then get a mixer to mix it so it can nice and smooth. Cool. Yeah.
This is just beyond friggin' fantastic. Wow. So we gave it space, it expanded. Without that space, it would have just become one big mush, right? So just like us humans, giving space is always a good thing. Okay, so I wanna just show you a quick little trick. This is the frosting. I made the frosting and I put the frosting into a bag we have piping bags. I want you to show you this as a cool trick if you don't have piping bags, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a hole and we then squish it up, point it out, and it'll goose all over the place and you use this instead of a piping bag. Cool little trick. So you can put the frosting on either now when it's hot and it'll melt the frosting or you can wait for it to cool down and you can then put the frosting on top of it and you'll then have a cooled frosting on top of your cinnamon rolls. Um, so either way works, we prefer it that it's melted. Uh, but hey, whatever you guys enjoy, do it that way. Uh, also, you don't need to use the entire bag, right? So you can just use as much as you want or as little as you want and you can be done when you are done. How gorgeous does this look? This is absolutely spectacular. Here we go. This is beautiful. So you can see that the frosting is just melting a little bit. It's got the beautiful brown texture. So this one is with raisins. So this is the one with raisins. Let's check it out and eat it. How is this? Heaven on earth. Wow. Mm. It is amazing. The cinnamon, the sugar, the raisins. If you guys don't like raisins, just try it with raisins if you've never had it with raisins. But the frosting, wow, this is amazing. The sweetness, the cinnamon, the way that they just combine together, right? So let's think about buying the dough in a little roll up ready to cook you know what yes you can do that can you go to Cinnabon yes you can do that can you go to any other donut store and buy cinnamon rolls yes you can do that getting to make them yourself that wowness the love the passion the the excitement getting to create something is beyond awesome family will love this truly truly amazing does it take a long time yes it does but you know what all of that is forgotten when you dig into one of these mm. just awesome nothing better than a homemade cinnamon roll just delicious Give it a go, put in a comment, tell me how you went, what you did, how you did it. And on that, catch you guys on the next one.